Hi folks, in this episode I'm going to talk about uh, a concept uh, uh, also known as fairness. Well, we already defined the notion of stability, which is a very appealing concept, um, but we didn't really uh, talk about fairness and in this episode hopefully this is what I'm going to do. So. Uh, the best thing is, again, to talk through uh, an example. So suppose that this is the uh, coalitional game. Very simple, there are only two players and this is what the worth function is. Uh, so whenever the coalition is singleton, the worth is just equal to five. However, if the uh, grand coalition is formed, well, then the worth jumps all the way up to 20. So this is clearly a super additive game. All right, so meaning uh, the grand coalition should be form, uh, formed. Uh, but then let's consider this outcome vector. 15, the, the first player gets, so this is x1, and 5, the second player gets. Well, uh, obviously it's unfair, right? Uh, I mean, again, you know, what is your notion of fairness? I did not specify it yet, but look, I mean, the, the, this game is perfectly symmetric, right? Each player's, um, you know, worth is just five units of payoff. And if they get together, uh, they can, the, 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 apparently they form a great synergy. And so the, uh, the, their worth increases all the way to 20. And then out of this 20, you only give five to player two. And, uh, you know, big chunk goes to player one, but really player one doesn't really deserve that much. So, I mean, whatever notion you use, this is clearly an unfair outcome. It is, however, a stable outcome, right? I mean, how do we know that? Well, simple. x1 plus x2 is, uh, oops, I'm sorry, exactly equal to the worth of the grand coalition, one, two. All right, which is 20. And what else? Uh, well, the x1 is greater than or equal to uh, uh, 5. x2 is also greater than or equal to 5. So basically, all three requirements of the uh, uh, definition of stability holds. And so therefore, this x1 and x2 is uh, uh, in the core. It's a stable. Well, there are many other stable outcomes. For example, x equals 10, 10. Uh, that is also stable. And it clearly sounds more efficient, I'm, I'm sorry, not efficient, more fair than this one, right? So the question is, how do we sort of formally define fairness? Uh, well, I mean, before we formally define it, uh, let's talk about some ways of uh, sort of approaching fairness. So how do we define fairness in some environment like this? Well, one, I think, pretty genius um, sort of approach is let's calculate players' marginal contribution, okay? To what? Marginal contribution to each coalition or to the game. Well, for example, how do I calculate something like this? Well, here's how I would calculate. Uh, so let's consider the worth of coalition one, two, and then worth of coalition two. What is the difference between these two coalitions? Well, uh, this coalition, I just add player one. All right, so once player one enters to the group of player two, or player two's group or coalition, uh, let's call it player two's coalition, uh, I know this is bigger or equal to, right, thanks to super additivity. Uh, well, this difference is kind of like, I mean, initially when player two was alone, his worth was five units, and now once I enter to his coalition, the worth becomes 20. So this 15 units of difference, kind of my marginal contribution. Agree? Well, but uh, you can do exactly the same thing uh, for player two, right? So let's call this marginal contribution. It sounds like marginal 
uh, cost, I'm sorry, but marginal contribution of player one. Well, what about the marginal contribution of player two? Oh, uh, it's the same, right? It's uh, V1, two minus V, oops, one. Uh, well, the numbers are the same, it's 20 minus five, so it's 15. Huh, so marginal contribution of player one plus marginal contribution of player two is not going to be equal to the worth of uh, this coalition. Unfortunately, 15, 15 adds up to 30 more than the worth of the... So the thing is, you can say, well, then the fair outcome should be uh, such that uh, the payoffs are proportional to uh, each player's contribution uh, to this coalition, right? This is one, uh, to me, perfectly reasonable way of defining contribution, uh, I'm sorry, a fairness. Um, however, one may also argue that, look, uh, the player's contribution to this uh, coalition is, yes, 15 and 15. However, uh, we need to calculate you know, some may argue, we need to calculate contribution, marginal contribution to the game, right? I mean, a player may actually leave this game, exit this game, and so uh, he may not contribute even as a single individual at all. So, so once this individual appears, I, I, I mean the following is like V1, minus V um, empty, all right? So what does that mean? That means, what is this difference? It's like, well, this is basically saying that player one could actually exit the game, right? Uh, does not play this game. And so in this case, uh, there is no, uh, how to call it, uh, coalition including player one. So I, I denote it as uh, empty set. And then this one is, well, player one decides to enter th this game, play it, maybe by himself, but this, this, the, the, the thing is, he actually, you know, by physically being in, 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 a, in a sort of, being part of this game, he generates this value, this worth. And so you may say, this is the also marginal contribution of player one, um, and that's, by the way, 5 minus 0, so it's 5. So the thing is, this is the marginal contribution of player 1 entering to game. All right, let's call it MC1. And this is marginal contribution of player 1 to being part of this grand coalition. So let's call this MC2. So one may say, um, therefore, player 1's uh, marginal contribution to the game is average of these two numbers, all right? Well, why average? I know, it's a bit ad hoc, right? I mean, why, you know, one half this, one half that? I mean, why, for example, but, but I mean, I don't know. Um, it's, it's, again, it's like, you can define fairness any way you like. I can't really make an argument against this because it makes sense, I mean. Uh, so player one's marginal uh, uh, contribution to the game is therefore one over two MC one plus one over two MC uh, one 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 two. Okay, so it makes more sense because uh, you'll see uh, MC one is five, so one over two five plus one over two MC two is fifteen. So if you calculate this, it's going to be ten. Uh, if you do exactly the same thing, player two's marginal contribution to the game, it's also 10. And remember, x prime, 10, 10. This is a stable outcome. And that's also pretty fair because the game players are pretty symmetric in this game. So in so that's kind of a nice way to introduce the idea of fairness and coming up some uh, uh, payoff function, uh, which is feasible and individually rational. All right. As again, it's like as I said, you can define uh, your own notion of fairness, but this notion of fairness is used a lot, and in fact, this is what we're going to do. The Shapley introduces uh, what's what's also known as a Shapley value, which formalizes this concept. 
Uh, so let's talk about it in the next episode.